What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on for Rhino that allows you to create polyhedral shapes. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Rhino Polyhedra is a free add-on for Rhino that allows you to create a variety of different polyhedral shapes. So let's go ahead and let's download this into Rhino. So we're gonna jump into Rhino and we're just gonna type in package manager in order to access the package manager. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna search for polyhedra. So usually if I look for poly, that's the fastest way to get to that. All right, so once you see Rhino Polyhedra pop up, you just wanna click on the option for install. And so it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna download and install that into Rhino. And then it's gonna ask us to restart Rhino. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. All right, and so once you've installed the tool, it gives you access to a number of different new functions. So you can access them by typing in the values of the function. So in this case, for example, the biggest tool is going to be polyhedron. So you can just type in polyhedron and hit the enter key. That's gonna give you access to the library of different polyhedron tools that this has in here. And I am not gonna lie, I did not even realize that there were this many polyhedron options. There are a ridiculous number of options in here. So really anything that you're looking for, you ought to be able to find. Like for example, you've got a dodecahedron in here. Um, you've got different geodesic patterns. You've got some really complex icosahedrons. I mean, it's just a ton of different options in here. If you are looking for any kind of polyhedron shape, you ought to be able to find these. So this one's interesting right here. It's basically got stars on the faces, but if we click on okay, what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask us to find the center and then it's gonna have us set our scale factor or reference point. Right, and you can also set the output style. So if you type O, right, you can set this as a curve, a mesh, or a surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as a mesh for right now. So I'm just gonna type in M and hit the enter key, but then you can click in order to place this object. And if you jump over into shaded mode, you can see the surfaces that are in here. So you can basically use this to create any of those shapes at any size that you want. So this also gives you access, access to other tools as well. So like for example, if you type in mesh, Ico sphere. What that's going to do is that's going to let you create exactly what it sounds like a mesh Ico sphere. So it's going to work generally the same way. You're going to set a central point, and then if you move your mouse, notice how it's going to let you create this shape. Notice that you can type the S key in here and adjust the number of subdivisions. So if you put the subdivisions at one, you're going to get less surfaces. If you set the subdivisions to more, so let's say I set it to like three, notice how I'm going to get a lot more surfaces and a much more complex shape. So you can use that in order to create the mesh icosphere. There's also the mesh quad sphere right here. So we're gonna do the same thing, central point. And that's gonna create a mesh quad sphere shape. And again, you can adjust the number of subdivisions that come along with that. All right, you can also type in polar zonahedron. So that one's interesting because you can adjust the frequency, you can adjust the length by typing in L and then setting a value. So if I set my edge length to like three, right, then it's going to get smaller. So you're really setting the edge length that's in here. So there's some other functions in here as well, but if you do need to create this shape, this is an easy way to do that. So the quick hull function is interesting because basically what it's going to do is it's going to create a surface based on a number of points that you set in here. So let's say I've got just a series of points that I've created in here and I just created them just by using the point tool. But let's say we were to run quick hull like this and then select these points and then hit the enter key. What that's going to do is that's basically going to draw surfaces along all of those different points. So you can use this in order to generate a shape based on points in 3D. Note that um, you have to have a certain number of points in there for that to work. So um, it didn't work with like three points in there. I'm not sure what the bottom limit is, but if you get an error saying it can't create a quick hole, you might wanna think about just, uh, just adding a couple more points in there in order to get it to work. And then finally, there's also an option in there if you type in waterman to create a waterman polyhedron. So I am not gonna lie, I'm not a polyhedron expert. This is just another kind of polyhedron. Notice how if you type the R key and adjust the root, that it's gonna create a different kind of shape. So this one basically creates a number of spheres and then uses the spheres to kind of like sweep away from the center. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% familiar with this one. So just know if I type in like a value of 10, I'm gonna get a significantly different shape than if I have a root value of one. 
So you can set that and notice how you get this shape that's basically made up of hexagons and then diamonds along the edges. So it's an interesting shape for sure and you can kind of adjust that based on your root value as well. So really the short summary of this video is if you need to create any kind of polyhedron type shape inside a rhino, this is definitely an add-on that you need to have. It has a ridiculous number of options. I recommend that you go download it and give it a try because it is free. But leave a comment below, let me know what you thought or what add-ons you'd like me to take a look at next. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.